What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fire here, my name's Luke, and Gearbox released a new patch today which included a new head and skin for each character that is playable in Borderlands 2. These heads and skins are pre-sequel themed in order to kind of celebrate the upcoming release of Borderlands the pre-sequel. So these heads and skins will give your character a theme like Claptrap, Nisha, Wilhelm, or Athena. And so we're going to go ahead and redeem these all real quick. I just brought them in with the Gibbed Save Editor, which was updated today to add these new items to its abilities. And then we're going to go ahead and look at what they look like on each character. They all have some funny names as well, and we'll get to those when we look at the character. Excellent. So I just unlocked them all for each character, and now I'm going to go run over to this little uh, customization station and see what the ones look like for Maya. I assume they'll be at the bottom. So spin the cylinder is what it's called because Nisha is presumably a revolver based character. And that gives her a hat and I was pretty excited about the hat. I was kind of disappointed that it doesn't turn out blue with this uh, blue widow skin that I usually wear. But it's still pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check out the skin for it. Now this skin kind of has an offensive name. It's called uh, choke a dog or something. We'll get to it in a second. Strangle a puppy. So that's pretty... Pretty offensive, and it's not really that good looking, so I'm probably just going to stick with uh, my Blue Widow or see if I find something else that I find fits the hat a little bit better. I do like this Blue Widow skin. I don't know why. I just think it's pretty classy. All right, we're going to be checking out Axton next, so hold on while I switch over to Axton. All right, upon logging into my Axton, I realized he was still level 61, and I obviously haven't played with him since the Halloween DLC came, and I think that was only just to go ahead and check out how the Halloween outfit looked on him. So we're going to see what uh, he has for the new one. It's an Athena-themed head, which is pretty cool. This one's called the Goddess of Wisdom. And then we're going to check out the uh, skin for it as well, which I believe is called Wondering Lance. And so that's pretty cool. It gives him a uh, neat little look, actually. I quite like that as a whole outfit. Um, he looks like, you know, a retired Lance man wearing a hood. You know, Star Wars type deal type thing. I kind of like it. It's pretty cool. I'll actually leave this on Axton as a whole outfit. If I ever get around to playing with him again, I'll enjoy looking at it occasionally in my menu and stuff. We're going to go ahead and do Gage next, I guess. Maybe, yeah, Gage. I'll have to create a Gage for that. I don't have a Gage. I wasn't. I really did have to just create this Gage. I actually overwrote a level 16. I think it's a level 18 zero that I had. Yeah, I overrode a level 18 zero, and that's why she happens to have a rapier and a law equipped. So if you're curious about that, I did have to go ahead and make a new gauge. Anyway, um, the head she has from this pre-sequel uh, head and skin pack is the girl from the moon, and the skin is called the Cosplay Singularity. And this is supposed to be an allusion to Moxie, or Moon Moxie, as the uh, Gearbox site calls it. And they will be releasing shift codes for all these heads and skins, as we get closer to the uh, pre-sequel release. Next, we're going to do Salvador. So, as you've probably guessed, I almost never play as Salvador. This is actually a level 61 Salvador that I haven't logged into since the Halloween DLC came out. But, we're going to go ahead and check out what his new head and skin looks like. His are obviously Wilhelm themed. This one's called Machine Meets Man. And this one is going to be called... Ashes of New Haven, because Wilhelm, you know, as lore tells us, destroyed New Haven. So, I guess that's pretty cool. I do like the gray beard and funky eye that he has. That's one of Salvador's better heads, in my opinion. The uh, skin is so-so. Um, none of his skins really look that great, but I'd probably match that one with a different one. Um, it looks pretty cool with that one, for example. But, yeah, so there are Salvador's head and skin. I guess we're going to do Zero next. I'm not sure why I waited till 5th to do Zero. He's the character I play most. But here's his head, which is Claptrap themed. It's unfortunate that this doesn't default to white colors with this white skin, unfortunately. Because I thought I might put it on the Zero. Um, this one is called Hello Assassin. And the skin is called And Zero. So, it does give him a nice Claptrap theme. I think it's pretty cool. It is nice how it almost matches the uh, legendary Ninjacom. That looks pretty nice. But I think I'll go ahead and stick... Wow, I didn't even know about that one. I'll, I'll go ahead and stick with the uh, Portal 2 suit here. I think that's pretty cool. And I don't know what head I want to go with right now. Probably, I like Wormtongue for Melee Zero, so I'm going to stick with that. 
However, the Claptrap one does look pretty cool. Alright, so now we're going to check out Krieg's head and skin. The head is called Put a Shank into Bobby. And the skin is going to be called, um, Pick the Scav. And I believe Krieg is supposed to be alluding to a character that I don't know too much about yet, called Scav in Borderlands the pre-sequel. I think I'm pronouncing that right, I could be wrong. He basically just looks like a psycho with a breathing apparatus so that he'll be able to breathe in space. So I do thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't yet, please take the time to subscribe. I'd appreciate that as well. Otherwise, I do hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.